Every living thing is composed of proteins, carbohydrates, and genetic material. In the biochemistry lab, it is often necessary to extract one of these components from a sample, so let's extract them all. In this video, we will be extracting the DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid from these strawberries. DNA is the genetic material contained in the nucleus of all eukaryotic cells and is responsible for telling cells how to make proteins. To get it out of these strawberry cells I start by squishing them into mush. This maximizes cell exposure and damages the cell walls. Next I need to make a simple cell lysis solution using a 9 to 1 mixture of distilled water and dish soap with a bit of table salt. The soap will rip apart the phospholipid bilayer composing the cell membrane and the nuclear envelope. This will cause the cells to rupture and spill all their contents into solution. The addition of salt will pull hydrogen-bound proteins away from the DNA. Next I'll add the lysis solution to the strawberries and mush them up a bit more. into a coffee filter to remove the insoluble cellulose. Gross. This will take a long time to filter, and you may have to use multiple filters. After five hours I have a good amount of cell lysate solution. Transfer the cell lysate to a beaker, and add some ice-cold isopropyl to precipitate the DNA. DNA is not soluble in isopropyl, but sugar and protein are. You can see the slimy DNA collect at the top. top-down view. I'm now going to scoop the DNA out onto a drying bowl, and this step will be complete. Here is our strawberry DNA. Follow to see me remove the protein and sugar.